geez, I just can't help myself, folks. This is just too good. An opportunity presents, you know I'm going to swoop. Um, you know I'm going to take full advantage of it. You know I'm going to expose the hypocrisy. So here we go. I'm heading back to this little stand of snow gums over here, right? Now the reason that I'm heading back there, that is the stand of snow gums that the uh, trap on the eastern flank of Mount Jim is located. So we're going to turn around, right? Now up there's high ground. We'll come down over here. You can see some taller green grasses appearing amongst the heath, right? It's a seed line. And it would flow all the way down there and continue into High Plains Creek, but you'll notice the uh, pipe in the culvert that catches it and diverts it. But the opportunity that presented that I'm not going to uh, knock back, they've set this trap yard up here because it's an area that is frequented by horses. So if it's frequented by horses, you would imagine or believe, uh, from what they tell you anyway, that the environment up here must be chewed up and destroyed and, and that's why they position their trap yard there because it's going to give them maximum benefit uh, and trap lots of horses and remove them to protect this environment so let's come for a walk let's come for a walk with dino down through this seep stream right now we're gonna stay up here high yes there's a little imprint down there right but that's all it is is an imprint okay it's gone down in we're stepping on some stones as you can see here, the imprint's gone down in, it's trapped a little bit of water, but it hasn't destroyed the moss beds. It hasn't chewed up the moss beds. It hasn't denuded the moss beds. <coughs> so uh, you might have guessed by now, Dino's following a brum trail. All right, so there you go, some more hoof prints. They're just little indents in the ground. Some of them are millimetres deep. The deepest one I've found so far would be an inch. And here we go, we're off on your brum trail. So the path the Brums use to get to the trap yard that's been set up by these people that are apparently trying to protect our environment um, has to travel through a seep stream at the headwaters that apparently the horses are destroying, if you can believe Mr Driscoll, Mr Cox, Cox Mr Swain and all of those, um, to actually get to the trap yard. All right? So now we find ourselves over here, still on the Brum Trail heading for that pole line, but we found another little indent that goes down and collects water and flows it off down. So here we go, a seep stream. You can see where it starts. There's the high ground and then you get the indent that comes here. Just have a look at it. Mosses, heath, grasses, 120 metres from the trap that's set up over in there. And just have a look. Beautiful mosses, crystal clear water. You can see all the way to the bottom and it tracks on down there and it meets all the other little seep streams that come from over here. There would be 50 or 60 or so. So what more evidence than you need? They've provided it perfectly for me just with the location of their trap yard and the fact that when they uh, put their lovely baits in, the horses come in for it along this very, very narrow, indistinct brum trail. And they walk across the seep streams that are the headwaters. They do no damage. They barely leave an imprint in the ground. Um, you know, all people have got to do is come up and see it for themselves. Okay, I mean, it's a nice Russian tactic used for decades and decades where we tell you one thing today tomorrow we tell you that we never told you that we told you something different sooner or later they've changed it up enough that everybody's that confused that they just willingly willingly accept whatever the Politburo tell them well people you need to challenge what the Politburo that is Mr Cox and Swain and Driscoll here we go another seek stream drying out a little bit um, the rains have seeped off downstream but again the brums have crossed over it folks so show me some damage okay you can't because it's not there alright so people need to stop believing what the Driscoll Cox Swain National Parks Association Reclaim Cozzy 
little pollock bureau uh, propaganda machine tells them actually get up here have a look with your own eyes you'd be absolutely amazed because what you'll find up here in no way shape or form remotely resembles what you're being told unless of course you're of the belief that this human walking track on this pole line is actually the Brumby Trail. Anyway, leave it with you folks. Glorious day, just have a look at that. It just doesn't come better. And it sure as hell isn't destroyed. Come and enjoy it.